This is a 2020 Mercedes-Benz Maybach S560 4Matic. Today we're working with our friends at Sears Imported Autos selling beautiful Mercedes-Benz cars and SUVs. Hey folks, I'm Rob. And I'm Nathan. And we are Two, Two Guys, Guys in a Ride. Ride. And say, Nathan, tell the folks what we're taking a look at today. Oh man, today we are taking a look at the 2020 Mercedes-Benz Maybach S560 4Matic. That's right, but say, uh, before we get into that, if you'd like to keep up to date with all the new cars, trucks, and SUVs, and you'd like to know how and understand how to use all the infotainment systems that are built into these, plus you like cool collector cars and uh, collector classic builds, take a moment and hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell notification up above so you never miss a video. So what do you say, Nate? Let's, Let's go, go for, for a ride. ride. So anyway, here we go my turn to drive and Nathan is taking a vacation to the south of France or what uh, this Maybach commonly refers to as the back seat. <laughs> Hello! Uh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I got my feet stretched out. It's like I'm in an ar a big beautiful armchair with the, you know, the pull-out leg support. Well, you know, Nathan, in talking about this, I mean, it's so easy just to, in, in basic conversational noise volume, to speak to you even way back there oh um, yeah because this thing the interior sound and quietness of it is just spectacular of course it is competing with the the bentley's and the rollers uh being mercedes top end sedan but it absolutely is nice and so quiet in here um, safety systems included <laughs> tell me what it doesn't have yeah, that would be an easier thing <laughs> and to And I'll cover those on the outside review, and Nathan will cover some of those on the inside review. Acceleration, we've got this thing in the uh, basic uh, this uh, comfort, comfort, mode. comfort mode, and it just glides right along. But you put it in sport, or even in comfort, it's still got the kick down, it's still got the punch and the horsepower, because uh, that's the big V8 up there, and I'll cover the horsepower and torque ratings with you uh, as well. But it's just, um, yeah. It's, it's an amazing car. Interior fit and finish, Nathan, how is it back there with you? Beautiful. I, I don't think you could uh, even remotely find anything in this car that isn't nicely uh, put together. No, I mean, this is, oh my gosh, I can't believe how far back this thing goes. It's uh, like being in a beautiful, comfortable in your home. And your and your uh, nice comfy recliner at home. Yeah, but man. yeah, talk But on the interior finish, how is it back there? The oh, the finish. spotless. Yeah. I mean, there, there's, it, yeah. And what do they call this flowing magnolia? Flowing lines magnolia wood trim, and right, it's beautiful. It's got the aluminum lines in the wood trim, which is yeah. really a neat feature. Yeah. It's got the beautiful all the Burmeester uh, speaker grills are just beautiful. They some of them have the backlighting on them as well, the ambient lighting. And you have the ambient lighting all throughout. We've got pictures of Nathan. I'll show you about that. But, uh, you know, as far as the drive goes, folks, this is absolutely a beautiful, fantastic automobile. Uh, love it. Quiet. Maneuverable. I am surprised. You talked about that too, Nathan, how maneuverable it is. And it definitely is for such a big car. And uh, it doesn't drive like a, the big car that it is. But it is a very nice, big car. All righty. And the doors are... Nope. <laughs> Dave is still Never going on about me. the back end. So I could be back here talking for hours. Uh, so anyway, coming up next, my exterior review. And right after that, Nathan will take you for a tour of the inside. And we're also going to cut a separate video this time. Not as much on the technology, but we want to show you all the wonderful things that are of 
made into, whoa, <laughs> that really got me going there, <laughs> that really have been put into this vehicle uh, and how beautiful it is. Keep watching. What is luxury? There are traditional luxury attributes like quality materials, exceptional craftsmanship, artistic design, and relative rarity. What about prestige or status on the owner? Well, in today's hectic world, luxury tends to lead uh, more to time-saving conveniences and less so to comforts. Today, luxury is more about a device or service that allows us to enjoy more free time and more rest. We have a classic example of that here. This is a 2020 Mercedes-Benz S-Class 4MATIC Maybach, and this 21st century S560 is amply endowed with more self-indulgent luxuries than any previous class before it. It's presented here in uh, obsidian black metallic with nut brown and black exclusive Napa leather interior and that beautiful wood trim that Nathan will show you a little bit later. This vehicle is powered by the 4-liter V8 bi-turbo double overhead cam engine with echo start-stop, produces 463 horsepower, 516 pound-foot of torque, has a 9-speed automatic with manual shifting mode. Performance of this beautiful vehicle is 0 to 60 in 4.2 seconds, 0 to 100 in 10.3 seconds, 0 to 130 in 18.2 seconds. Rolling start at 5 to 60 miles per hour, 5.1 seconds, while the standing quarter mile 12.8 seconds at 111 miles per hour, and the top speed is governed at 131 miles per hour, braking 70 to 0, 161 feet. Now we see up front this does have the ultra wide LED headlights with signature LED light pipes. It does have high beam, or excuse me, automatic high beam. Uh, headlights and you do have the traditional Mercedes-Benz chrome grill and it does have body colored front bumper with chrome trim. Now we'll say also you do have rain sensing wipers up top with magic control vision which features wiper blades with laser cut holes that emit a highly precise spray of washer fluid directly in front of the moving wipers. Now this system eliminates that brief vision obscuring spray across the full windshield and it minimizes overspray and runoff. And well, since the uh, washer fluid reservoir lines and even the wiper blades are heated, it's also extremely effective in cold weather. Now on the front end, you do have a little bit different grill than you see on most Mercedes. And this is a change uh, for the 2020 uh, Maybach uh, trim versus 2018-2019. Uh, you do have the vertical slats in this to where the previous versions had the horizontal. And you do have the Mercedes-Benz star on the hood. However, uh, the grill used to have the, also the Mercedes-Benz crest. But what they've done now is, if you'll see right down here, they actually have Maybach written into the grill now and that's a nice change I really like that because before uh, the earlier the 2018 2019 didn't have that identifier that it was a Maybach on the front end you had it on the C pillars which we'll see later and on the back uh, trunk trim uh, which we'll see later also okay let's take a walk around the side okay before we talk about the side I do want to let you know this does have active parking assist active distance assist Distronic, active steering assist, evasive steering assist, active brake assist with cross traffic uh, function, and it does have uh, for um, it does have emergency braking. It does have uh, e active emergency stop assist, and it has active speed limit assist, active lane keeping assist, <laughs> active blind spot assist. This thing's more active than most of us. Uh, active lane change assist, and it does have route-based speed adaptation. It does also have automatic speed takeover. It has night view assist plus, and we'll show you that on the dashboard. It also has torque vectoring brake, adaptive braking technology. This also has the pre-safe plus, which is an enhancement to the ground braking uh, pre-safe system. It, it helps to protect the occupants in a rear end collision. You see a radar sensor in the rear bumper helps to detect an impending impact. Uh, 
and in, therefore engaging uh, the features of the pre-safe uh, system to better prepare the front seat occupants and their restraint systems. It can also firmly apply and hold the brakes to help reduce uh, peak loads to all occupants as well as the risk of a secondary collision. Okay, one of my favorite things on this are these 20 inch Maybach wheels. These are exclusive to this Maybach. You can't get them on any other Mercedes. That is a forged Maybach wheel. And they are wrapped in uh, 245 40 R20 front and 275 35 R20 rear all season tires. Now up front, you do have the 14.6 inch rotors that are ventilated and cross drilled and out back as well the front suspension is independent suspension with coral spring it does have double tube shock absorbers with ssd and a tubular torsion bar now on the rear suspension you have independent multi-link with coil springs single tube shock absorbers with ssd and a torsion bar this does have also the aromatic suspension for a balanced comfortable ride now the aromatic, uh, the aromatic semi-active suspension employs electronically controlled air springs that adjust to the changing driving conditions. It also lowers the ride height at higher speeds for improved aerodynamics and stability and efficiency. Now you do have on the outside the heated power folding outside rear view mirrors. It also has the 360 degree parking cameras. It does have the soft closed doors, keyless entry, and of course keyless lock. If you got the keys, all you gotta do is walk up to it and touch the button there. You do have the chrome accented door handles. We've talked about that on previous Mercedes and I love that as well. This also has the chrome uh, trim down along the bottom as well as a chrome belt line and window trim. And back on the C pillar here, you do have this beautiful, beautiful Maybach badging. Let's take a look out back. Okay, out back, this vehicle does have the LED tail lights. It has a rear view camera. It has rear fog lights. And of course, the Maybach and Mercedes-Benz badging. Down below, you do see the body colored bumper. You do have the chrome trunk molding and you do have the chrome bumper moldings and you have the dual chrome tailpipe outlets. Looking inside, let's see, there we are. This vehicle does have 12.7 uh, cubic feet. Now, some of that is eaten up by this cool box that's sitting inside. That's your internal refrigerator uh, for drinks or champagne or scotch, whatever you want. Uh, but that does take up some of that trunk room. Fuel mileage on this vehicle is 27 highway, 17 city, and 21 combined. Not bad for a big, heavy luxury vehicle. Fuel tank capacity is 21.1 gallons and highway cruising range is 630 miles. Let's talk about the dimensions. Okay, dimensions on this vehicle are 74.8 inches wide. The front and rear track are 64.3 inches. It does ride on a wheelbase of 124.6 inches. Overall length, 206.9 inches and its height is 58.8 inches curb weight 5181 pounds and it does have a turning circle of 36.7 feet which is again very very maneuverable now it does come with a bumper bumper warranty for 48 months 50,000 miles powertrain warranty 48 months 50,000 miles and a roadside assistance for 48 months 50,000 miles you could view the Maybach as a value play in com competition with other ultra luxury premium sedans from Rolls-Royce and Bentley. You know, we talked about that a little bit earlier. Uh, that they both cost nearly a third more than this vehicle. Now compared to the competition, the Maybach benefits from more technological items uh, that enhance comfort and performance and add some automated driving and advanced safety features. So, yeah, <laughs> the Maybach is the epitome of modern day luxury. It's beautifully designed and engineered. It's a device that allows us to enjoy more free time and more rest. I love it. So coming up next, Nathan's gonna take you for a tour of this luxury liner on four wheels right now. Take it away, Nate. All right, starting on the inside of this beautiful 2020 Mercedes-Benz Maybach S560. 
on the driver's door here, you're gonna just notice the beautiful leather work that they have on here, along with the Magnolia Flowing Lines trim. Basically wood with uh, a, a, like an aluminum strip in it. Um, they're just, it's just beautiful. You have three Burmeester speakers in each door in the front, and you have got uh, you know your power controls for your seat here. You've got um, you've got heated seats, or you've got ventilated seats, heated seats. This button allows you to control the passenger seat with your controls here. You've got a three-person memory setting. Your lock on lock buttons, your uh, power windows here, your mirror controls here, your folding mirrors there, and then you do have some nice storage down in here. Okay, coming across the seats just to give you a kind of a whole look of the interior here in the front. Um, beautiful leather seats. I love the designs and the lines in here, um, and they are just absolutely very, very comfortable to sit in. All right, and the passenger door, of course, is almost identical to the driver's door with the exception of you don't have a button here to control the driver's seat but otherwise uh, the exact same now you can't see it but there is a logo projection that comes uh, when you open the doors in the front right down there okay and then from the passenger side get a quick look here and you're gonna get a really good look at these magnolia flowing lines on the uh, wood trim just beautiful And of course you have a storage pocket right here on the side console All right now coming down here You have got your uh, parking brake. You've got your auto lights. You've got your dashboard brightness or dimness controls All right, so moving down here. We've got a couple of buttons. We've got active steering assist. We've got lane keeping assist We've got your night vision We've got your heads up display and then you have your rear window shade up or down and then this button of course and it's the same on the passenger side but you pop it out and then you can control the airflow through the vent on the side of the steering wheel you have your power tilt and telescope here as well as your windshield wiper control okay so stepping on the inside uh, there's just some really neat things in here so for instance we're just going to take and watch this speaker but it happens in various spots around the vehicle but if i hit the start button watch this spin and come out i <laughs> just uh, you gotta love that all right at last count i had 16 speakers in this car the sound is absolutely amazing so you have got three speakers in each of the front doors you have got a speaker in the uh where the light generally is up above here you have got three speakers uh above you in the rear you've got two speakers behind the headrest and then you have two speakers in each door in the rear just an amazing sound okay uh moving up to um the uh steering wheel you basically got your cruise control settings right here this does have adaptive cruise control okay you have got these three buttons up here affect or these two buttons up here I should say affect your driver's information screen and that's what you can control it with moving over to the right you've got basically voice command you've got your favorites you got a volume and you got phone on and phone off and then these three control the infotainment screen these work like track pads. Okay, uh, moving over to the infotainment screen real briefly. We've covered this in, in another Mercedes, so you can look down our list and see our video. Um, we are gonna do a separate video on all the creature comforts in this car. So you can check out, click on that link or uh, above or look at the description below for that link. Okay, uh, but uh, just to suffice it to say, the one really neat thing that this car has that I really, really like, and if you look at the driver's information center, it has night vision. So if I click this, you actually get at night an infrared picture. So it's kind of like watching a black and white TV, but it's kind of like heat seeking. So if, the, if it senses a warm blooded thing, person or animal, it'll show up in there to give you a warning beforehand which is really fantastic. And I love how the gauges move for that. Okay, moving on down here, you, of course, you got your beautiful Magnolia, Magnolia flow lines in the uh, wood trim, and then you've got this sort of a satin um, nickel look uh, on the dashboard. 
And then it is quad zone climate control. And one of the cool features, it has all the regular standard uh, buttons for each side. Uh, but the one of the really cool things is that you can turn each side, all four zones can go to auto. So if I have mine at 68, they have theirs at uh, 72, the back has it at 78, and one side has it at 80, you can all hit auto and it will maintain all four zones for you, which is just, I love it. Down below the climate controls, you do have your cigar lighter and ashtray. And then if we come down here, you got the beautiful Maybach written right in the wood trim. And then this part right here pulls down to reveal your cup holders, your key storage, and then a 12 volt outlet right here. All right, so coming back from here down to here, um, and we'll do more of this in the in the detail video, but basically you have shortcuts right here, you know, for your seats and, and your stuff on your infotainment screen. And then, uh, you know, basically you have your controllers right here. They're both mouse, uh, mouse pads here that you can use. And then you've got several buttons here on the right that will uh, adjust various different things for your infotainment screen. And then over here you have more driver controls. Uh, your, your driving dynamic, um, your driving modes, your auto start stop, uh, raising and lowering the vehicle, and then your uh, cameras on the car. Okay, then we move back a little bit here to the center console. So there are buttons on either side to open this. Okay, so we'll just pull this open here. You notice when I push my button, it opens my direction. So what I'm gonna do is close it and open it for a direction for Rob can see a little bit better with the camera. So if I push on this one, <laughs> ah, you gotta love that. Looks like it was just made to be. I mean, it's just awesome. Here's your wireless charging for your phone. Okay, and we'll show you the one in the rear in a minute. Here you got two standard USB ports. Uh, these will work with your Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, which is on the stereo. And then you have an SD card reader right here. Okay. Moving over down here to the glove compartment. It's nicely dampened. You do have a CD player right in here that you can use. So up here, you do have your cabin fragrance, your cabin fragrance uh, spot where you can put the jars of fragrance and then it'll fill the vehicle with that particular smell. Over here, you do have um, a trunk release button here and then you just have some more storage on that side. Moving on up, to the top here, you have uh, it's an interesting arrangement. So these two buttons, if you turn them on, actually turn a light on underneath the mirror. Okay, but the center button turns on this LED lighting right here. And then of course the middle is a beautiful uh, Burmester uh, speaker. And this is, by the way, has, it has the high-end 3D sound system. Okay. And then, of course, up here you can make your settings for how you want your, your lights to be. Okay. Down here, you do have your power shade to close and to open. There's two different buttons. Okay. And you do have an automatic uh, dimming rearview mirror. And then your home link buttons are all underneath the mirror right here. Now, we'll step back to a minute and show you this, but this car has got leather all over the place. So right up here, this is all leather and it's all stitched. It's just beautiful. It's just all soft touch, just like the dashboard is. If, you, if I pull down the visors and they're the same on both sides, you do have a light up here, which comes on the minute that you open the cover. Okay, They are uh, telescoping, but in addition to that, you've also got a separate visor that pulls down. So you have two on each side. And then you've got grab handles on either side, right here. All right, that being said, let's take a step into the back. So one of the things that you're gonna notice is just how absolutely wide these doors are. They are huge. They're just awesome, so easy to get in and out. Now, some of the unique things, I'm gonna step in and show this to you so we can see a little better in the light. But you're gonna notice right away that my passenger door looks almost identical to my driver's door. So you've got your powered seats, you've got ventilated and heated seats, you've got three-person memory settings uh, just for this seat. Okay, the other door is the same. 
Okay, you've got your pop-out Burr uh, Meester speaker right here, and then you have window controls right here, which control your window shades here and your window, as well as the rear window shade back here. So just a phenomenal about amount of control. Okay, coming up here to the seat, and the other side is the same way, but you have got your infotainment screen here, and you have got a pull-out uh, seat back storage on both sides. So this car has what's called four-place seating, which basically means there's only seats for four people. So in the back in the center, you have an armrest like you do in the front. And man, it's a chock full of features. Okay, up here, you have the other two parts of your auto climate zone. Okay, so back here are all the controls for your climate con uh, control back in the rear. And again, these are the pull-out buttons here, push-out buttons that you can control the airflow through the vents. Okay, moving back, you know, along with a beautiful wood finish here, you've got heated and cooled cup holders, and this is the button that does it. I love how they light up in different colors for the different features, and or they can just be off and just be uh, used as normal cup holders. You have a fairly deep storage here. It's about uh, a little over half of my hand, okay? And then if I push this, it just slides back and you've got a really beautiful uh, full wood coverage right here, okay? Now, this one here is the rear wireless phone charger. So not only can you wirelessly charge in the front, but you can in the rear as well. Okay, now underneath that right here, I'll close that for a minute. You would just pop that open. And on this side, you have another cigar lighter. And then on this side, you have got a 12 volt outlet right here. Okay, moving back to the center armrest right here. If I pull up, you have got dual trays. Continuing on in the center console, you have an HDMI connection for your infotainment screens, and then of course, dual USB outlets. And then down here, you have a household outlet right there. Now, as if that wasn't enough, I don't know if you notice this, but even your seat belts are lit. So you can see where the receptacle is. <laughs> I love it. Okay, back here, I may go to sleep leaning back like this. Back here is your refrigerator. Okay, so you pull this open and you have two different stages of cooling. And if I pull this open here, you've got room for your champagne bottle and your champagne flutes or whatever you would like to put in there. It's also nicely backlit. And back here you have a DVD player for the entertainment center. So not only can you hook up something else, but you can also run uh, DVD through there. Okay, absolutely stunning. Um, leg room, there's not a problem. That's where I left the seat. Headroom, more than plenty. Okay, comfort out of this world. Thanks for watching. So my very favorite thing, of course, is this beautiful area in the back of the Maybach where I have a beautiful seat with um, my, a, a leg rest. And then I can just recline this thing. I can push it forward and I can just lay back and absolutely relax. And it has huge armrests, both in the center and the side. Man, this is awesome. This is my favorite thing. Okay, so one of the coolest things about this car, you do have the little emblems on a couple of the outside, the name on the front and the back, and you have the uh, MM emblem on the inside. But from a distance, you can't really tell that this is a Maybach until you see these beautiful forged wheels. Those are my favorite thing. This beautiful vehicle is powered by a 4 liter V8 bi turbo double overhead cam at Dover. <laughs> now, fuel mileage on this vehicle it's combined. Uh, so, com uh, skip, yep, yep, start. Um, you've got three by uh, Burmeester. Is that right? Burmeester, yes, Burmeester. Me. 
you have three Beamerster. <laughs> Beamerster. That's a new invention. That's another word.